He then goes on to this section about the fig tree. And again, the fig tree is a little bit of a frustrating section for me as a, a biblical interpreter, um, because if you were to go on Google and search, what is the fig tree in Mark 13? This is obviously how all of you type, by the way. Um, if, what is the fig tree in Mark 13? You would immediately get a number of results that say the fig tree represents Israel. And when Israel starts to rebuild, just like the fig tree starts to bud, then you can know that the end of the world is coming. So we need to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem in order for Jesus to come back. And unfortunately, that violates rule number three of how we understand this text, which is that nothing needs to happen in order for Jesus to come back. And also, it frankly contradicts Jesus' own words. When Luke writes down this text for us, he says that when Jesus tells this parable, he says, look at the fig tree and all the trees. Like he didn't pick this fig tree because of its figginess. He just picked a fig tree because it was a deciduous tree just like any other tree. When you look at any tree and you see that there are leaves starting to come on it, the buds are starting to form on the branches, you know that summer is near. In the same way, you see the abomination of desolation. When you see my ascension, you can know all these things are happening. 